So this is example two in uh, my looking at trickier trigonometric equations. And this time we're going to look at cos 2x equals 1 half, where we're looking between 0 and 2 pi. So the 0 and 2 pi is key to identifying that we should be in radians. Okay, so I'm going to turn my calculator back to radians, hopefully. There we are. Done. And now, because we're working with cosine, I'm going to do a small cosine curve sketch at the side. We're in radians, so 2 pi, and that's pi. Okay, so I inverse cosine both sides. The 2x maintains as it is. So we do inverse cosine of 1 half, which is pi over 3. So 1 half on my curve is hitting there and there. So that's my pi over 3. So my other solution is 2 pi take away pi over 3. And notice how I'm keeping the 2x. Okay, so that would be um, 5 pi over 3. Right. Now, what happens at this stage is that because I've got 2x equals pi over 3 and 2x equals 5 pi over 3, I'm now going to divide both sides by 2. So I've got x is equal to pi over 6 and x is equal to 5 pi over 6. Okay? And they are two solutions. Now, there is a problem. Because although pre in the previous video when we were working with the sine curve, we had one solution that was out of range. Both of these solutions are between 0 and 2 pi. So that seems fine. However, cos 2x is a stretch in the x direction by a factor of 1 half. So between 0 and 2 pi, if I actually sketched it, we're looking at this. So 0.5 actually intersects in four distinct places between 0 and 2 pi, and so there are four solutions. We've got two of them. So in order to get the final two, I need to recognise that I can just add an amount to both of these two, in order to get the other two. The amount that I need to add is the new period of cos 2x. Cos x has a period of 2 pi. So cos x, cos 2x has a period of pi. So I need to add pi to both of my solutions. So pi over 6 plus pi okay, is 7 pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6 plus pi is 11 pi over 6. So in actual fact we have four solutions that can go in a curly bracket. We've got pi over 6 We've got 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. So the 7 pi over 6 is there, and the 11 pi over 6 is there. And that's how we can find the four solutions that we need. Okay, so we work with the original cosine curve first, find the two solutions that we would usually have if I was solving cos x equals a half. I apply the transformation, so I divide it by 2, in this case, and then I add on amounts of the period of the curve cos 2x, which was pi. So adding pi and adding pi here brought me the two other solutions that I was looking for.